Hello guys, Wuzwer here, and today we're going to be looking at opportunity costs as a whole and then go through an example with the crafting skill to help you be able to make efficient choices for yourself. This sort of analysis is best used when content is similar in nature. Realistically, there is little gameplay difference between when, say, you're making an inventory of black dehyde shields or an inventory of cutting dragon stones. It's the same thing, you bank, you make the item, you bank again. Even though they're different items, it's just kind of a reskin. As an introduction, let's take a very abstract situation. You have method A, which is 400k experience per hour and 8 GP per XP, and method B, which is 333k XP per hour and 2 GP per XP. Just looking at those raw numbers, it's very hard to tell if it's worth paying all that extra money for the time you're going to save. So what I like to do is calculate the cost for a set amount of experience. And in this case, we are going to use one mil, and that's my favorite number to use for this. In our scenario, method A would take 2.5 hours and cost 8 mil GP, while method B would take 3 hours but only cost 2 mil GP. So you can look at it and see if in those 0.5 hours that were saved by doing method A, if you are able to make back the extra 6 mil it would cost. If you are able to do that, it would be worthwhile to do method A, which when you do the 6 divided by 0.5, you end up with a 12 mil per hour time valuation. Summarizes to, if you can make more than 12 mil per hour, you would do method A, and if you can't, you would do method B. This is probably the most important piece of information in the video, but it's very important to realize that time valuation is a you decision to make. Usually it's guidelined around your best money making method that you enjoy, but that isn't a hard rule and you shouldn't follow it to the letter. For example, my best money maker that I enjoy is Telos, and I can make approximately 40 mil per hour once you take the streaks and the comments into consideration. But because I didn't want to spend that much time at Telos and kind of spend 10k kills there and then not enjoy it, I lowered my time valuation down to 20 mil per hour. So I still did Telos, I think I did about 3.5k on my way to 5.4, but I wasn't felt like I had to do Telos to make money to keep up with that 40 mil per hour valuation. However, on my alt, I want to minimize the gameplay, so I bump my time valuation up even higher to 50 mil per hour. While both of those things are inefficient, it's what made me happy. You have to pick a time valuation and a number that's going to make you happy and make you enjoy the game. Now to give you an example of how this works from start to finish, let's go through making this decision for training crafting. We're going to be looking at three possible methods. The first one is the money-making method, which is decorated urns. Then we're going to have the mid-tier spender method, which is black dehyde shields. And then we have the rich person's method, which is dragon stones. The first thing we are going to do is determine the XP per craft from each of our methods. We start with the boosts that are available to us. As we're going to be doing this at portables, we know that we will have the 10% boost from the crafter, and we can assume that other people around us will give us the 10% boost from the pulse core. Additionally, we can assume an efficient player will have 6% avatar and the full outfit. Additionally, torso 6 will be used for the black dehyde and dragonstone methods as those are costly. The exact XP formula is quite complicated. The easy way to do it is to take the non-portable and non six boosts and add them all up. In our case, we get 22%. Then you can take the base XP and multiply it through the formula. Each XP drop needs to be rounded to the nearest tenth of a decimal. With the two-step process of decorated farming urns, we end up with 177 XP each, while black dehyde shields are 470.8 XP each, and cutting dragon stones is 188.2 XP each. The next step is to calculate how many crafts one can do in an hour. Each tick is 0.6 seconds long, so in an hour we get 6,000 of them, assuming four ticks to bank and that a mammoth familiar is used to maximize inventory space, we get the following rates. Urns with their seven ticks per craft, two to form the clay and five to fire it, can only get 825 urns per hour. Black dehyde shields with four ticks per craft gives us 1400 per hour 
and Dragonstones with their one tick per craft gives us 50 to 50 per hour. The next step is to figure out how much money is gained or lost with each craft. With the boost from the crafter, each urn will take 1.9 soft clay and each urn is worth 3.7k GP. This is a profit of 2.5k per craft. For black dehyde shields, we will be using 3.8 black dragon leather per craft as we save 10% from the crafter and 10% from the scroll of dexterity. This means that the cost is 16.5k per craft with the shield being worth 9.5k. This represents a loss of 6.9k per craft. And finally we have dragon stones. With the portable crafter and the crystal ch chisel we will be using 0.95 uncut d stones per craft and each craft will lead, leave us with 1.02 cut dragon stones. This leads to a loss of 3.3k GP. For the next part of this video, I'm going to be in Google Sheets, um, just because it's easier to display the information this way. I'll leave a link to this uh, sheet in the description of the video where you'll be able to make your own copy. So we have our three calculated items here in columns B, C, and D, our XP per craft, our crafts per hour, and our cost per craft. Then we have a simple XP per hour. It's just multiplying the XP per craft and crafts per hour. Crafts cancel out, so we get the XP per hour. Um, GP per XP is a simple GP cost per craft divided by XP per craft. And that's where we see our profit. Additionally, these are the prices that are as of when I was making this video. Um, they might have changed, so when you make a copy, you can put in your new prices and everything will automatically update. So down here we have our one mil test again. Uh, to get one million experience, it would take seven hours with decorated farming arms, but we would make 14.4 million in that one million experience. So if we see our time valuation that I've put in here is 7.5 mil, so that 7.5 mil is worth approximately two hours, which is why the total effective time is really only five hours instead of the seven it takes. Um, and basically what you wanna do is you wanna look at the lowest number here. So Dragonstones would technically be the best because they take only 3.46 hours to get the money for the experience and the time for the experience. If we go, I think at 5 million around is when the urns start to be better. Yeah, you see the urns are already better at 3.95 total hours. So when you come into this spreadsheet, you can just put in your own um, GP number here. If we put my 20 million from the main, it pretty clearly shows that Dragonstone should be what I'm doing and I shouldn't really be focusing on doing either shields or urns. If they're really close, just decide um, whichever one you find more fun or less annoying to do. And I think that's gonna do it for today's guide. Um, if you have any questions about any of the assumptions I made or any of the things I went through, please leave a comment down below. Um, this is the kind of information I want to get out to people in hopefully an entertaining way. I tried to cut down as much as this video as possible because I didn't want it to drag on, but have a good day.